Rose Quartz Heart drilled straight through. What more could you want? 18 gauge square silver wire. Look at the square. Look at the angles on that. <laughs> All right, let's take um, uh, let's take about a meter, three feet. That's my new thing. Take an old meter. Let's see what that does. Oh, I missed the square wire. I think I haven't been back to it for a while, so I'm gonna put it stab through the heart, shot through the heart, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. I play my part and you played your game. You give love a bad name. Let's see, I have it about to the middle. Pull these two ends together so we can tell it's in the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle. Okay. All right, so we're going to crimp it and crimp it. Ah, oh, yes. All right. We'll make our top loop. You give love, love a bad name. You give love a bad name. All right, that's, that's a good size loop for the top, maybe a little smaller, and then we'll twist it to lock it in. Boom, it's locked in. Now begins the journey. Got a nice swirl going on there. Let's press it, make it a little bit tighter. Uh, the square wire just goes so nicely. So elegant. Elegante. I, was, I want to do some wild and crazy design, but like this just very simple design, just the swirl and then having it fan out in the two curves like that. Come around back of the heart and back here I'm going to twist these twice because that locks them in place and then have them come back out the other side I could just have them just loop right up to the top and be done with it it's really that would just be enough it would be elegant and beautiful but I got to do something a little more interesting I'm just going to get bored so I'm going to put a little a little uh curve right in here this would be better with 20 gauge square wire if you have it but this is a little hard on the fingers but my fingers are really conditioned to do amazing things so i'm not the least bit worried but for you young amateurs out there 20 18 gauge square might be a little rough then again who knows if you're going to get this exact same stone this little rose quartz heart if you do i hope you do but this pattern will work for any stone that's drilled straight through top to bottom. And really, if you're if you know what you're doing, it could work for any stone drilled somewhere else or not drilled at all. So I think I'm just going to bring these together at the top and make another little loop. That's like another pattern I like to do a lot. Um, it's a tight fit on this stone with this thick wire, but if you pull it really tight and you take your time, you can make it work. You can work it out, as those beetles say. That's all about placing it. You want to, pl as I'm moving it, I'm molding it. I'm moving it. As I'm shaping it, I'm pushing it where I want it to be, the whole time. Thanks for the thing. Thanks for the joy that you're giving me. I'm playing this music in the background. Sorry, I just keep hearing it. Won't you know I believe in your song? You got that hoarse voice still, you gotta forgive me. The rhythm and rhyme and harmony. You held me along, making me strong. Hey, give me that beat, boys. All right, let's cut it right there. Yes. Wanna get lost in your rock and roll? 
and drift away. Sometimes I just decide the pliers like this, just to press it flat against the stone. This is like, that's really staying in its place. That's a little wobbly. I always like everything to tighten up so it won't get moved or rubbed, you know, with wear and tear. If someone's wearing this on their neck, I always talk about the proverbial hug. They're wearing it as a necklace and they go to hug someone and their clothes rub. Is it going to mess up the design? Is it going to push things around? That's moving a little bit. Oh, what can we do? Could we crimp it, maybe? Make it a little tighter? Sometimes crimping helps. You want to be careful. You don't want to crimp it so hard that you mess up the design on the front. Sometimes I'll, I'll hold it in place while I'm crimping the one side. But that's pretty strong. But I mean, technically, you could, if you got your finger there, you could wipe, you could pull it right off without much effort. Just poof, and the whole the whole design would come undone. And I don't like it to be that fragile, even though this is much stronger than a lot of people make their stuff. But that's what I do. I try to make it extra strong. So I'm going to take a little bit of tiny thin wire. Uh, I got some 22 gauge here. That'll work. It's thin silver. Just a little bit. And. Just slide it right under, so easy. Only takes a second. Just slide it under there. Bring, the, bring it to the middle, the two ends together. Pull tight. Generally, when you have wire coming from three different directions, it's gonna be stabilized. Two different directions is good. If you have it from one direction, you're just creating something that's gonna get snagged. But see, this is coming from two directions, coming from here and here. So it's pretty stable, but it can still move this way. Once you, we have this third direction pulling it this way, um, it's, it makes it super stable. Let's think of it like a like three legs on a stool. If you have a stool with one leg, you know you're balancing like crazy, or that thing is just going to fall over. If you have a stool with two legs, you're rocking, and you got to balance it, or the thing's going to fall over. If you have a stool with three legs, boom, it's solid. It's just how it is. So I'm just wrapping this now into the scarf, just blending it in. And then I'll just tuck it in the back with the rest of it. There she is, little Rose Quartz Heart. Now, if earlier if it was kind of down here and you couldn't see it wasn't focusing, I apologize. I've been trying to pay this camera to follow the focus better and so far, I think I need to demote the camera and give it a pay cut because it hasn't been listening. But let's put it three cute little jump rings and a nice chain and we'll be good to go. Off to the races, all those cliches.